Hey everyone, Mark here, and we've got a special episode for you. I've brought in our resident Chrome deployment expert, Ashton, and she's going to help us walk through something. Now, at Promevo, we have a lot of resources available to our customers, and I like to check and see what you guys are downloading to see what we might be able to address for you. And something I've seen a lot of downloads for lately are how to install custom fonts on your Chromebook. Now, one thing I thought was interesting before we go too far, I know I've laid out an array of devices here for you, but what's really cool is this works the same on any device so long as it's a new, uh, you know, up-to-date Chrome version of the Chrome OS, if I'm not mistaken. Is that correct? Correct. Beautiful. So that's, I think, really important that we get this information out there. But my first question when I started thinking this was, why do so many people want to update their, their fonts on their Chromebooks? Is it like just a simple personalization or design thing? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So it's definitely a personalization thing. Um, we see it a lot with designers who are customizing and working on Chrome devices. They'll want to personalize it. And we also see this a lot in our education environments as well. Really? Teachers um, and schools will want to customize and unify and brand their devices for their students and in the business world as well. Sure. I guess that would make sense, kind of keep everything, yeah, like you said, kind of branded mm -hmm. one way and that way everything looks uniform. That's a cool idea. That's kind of awesome that we can do that. So tell you what, let's just jump right into the meat of this project and uh, turn it over to Ashton. She'll show you guys how to do this. So first off, how hard is this? It's going to be about a medium level difficulty and effort to put into to switch and add you know, the new fonts to it. Okay, Ashton, what are the prerequisites before we get started on this? Well, you're going to need to have your font file, the TTF file. You'll need to have this either on a, you know, hosted on the web, uh, publicly available, or on a USB flash drive. We recommend the method of using the uh, web hosted file. It's easier, simpler to use and configure. Using a flash drive is a little bit more complicated and there's a little bit more steps involved. Most of the customers who've done this that we've talked to use Dropbox for this, so that's actually what we'll go through in our example. It's what's in the example on our document sheet as well. Also keep in mind you will be switching your device to developer mode and that does erase personal data on the stateful partition so user accounts that were previously signed in, local downloads saved on the hard drives, but don't worry it's Chrome OS everything's backed up on the cloud. What's our first step here? What are we jumping into? First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put your device into developer mode. So we've switched that where's our next step? Once you have your device in developer mode you're gonna see um, a screen is going to tell you the Chrome OS verification is turned off. At this point in time, you're going to press the key combination control, alt, and your right arrow, and this is going to get us into our command line terminal. Awesome. Once you're there, you're going to log in as the root account, and our first command is Chrome OS dash firmware update with the argument mode equals to dev. Okay, so then does it jump into the network login screen at this point? You'll have to reboot your device at this point in time. Uh, once you reboot it, it will go into your network login screen. So at that point, you will press your control alt right arrow to access your command line terminal again. Once again, you're going to log in as root. From there, you're going to use the command cd and user forward slash share, forward slash vboot, forward slash bin. Cool. Once you're in your bin location, you're going to type uh, period, forward slash make, underscore dev, underscore ssd dot sh. This is going to give you a set of outputs. Um, in particular, you want to make note of the number that comes after partition. You're going to need that for the next command. Great. Which is? Well, you're going to type the same command as previous, but before you press enter after the dot sh, you're going to add an argument, uh, two dashes, remove underscore root fs underscore verification with another argument, again using the double dash, partitions, and then the number that you saw on your output from the previous command. This is what's going to allow you to read and write to the drive. After this point, type in reboot, hit enter, and your device will reboot one more time. Once it finishes rebooting, you're going to see your network login screen. Go ahead and log into your network, your Wi-Fi, and sign into your Google account. And once you're logged in, once more, you're going to press Control Alt Right Arrow to once more pull up your command line terminal. We're going to once again log in as root. And at this point in time, you'll want to make sure that you have the URL of your publicly available link of your file where you have hosted it. We're going to type in cd forward slash user usr forward slash share forward slash fonts 
forward slash C-R-O-S-C-O-R-E, CrowScore. This is where we're going to start the download and install of our custom font. So to get that font downloaded, you're going to use the wget command and you'll type in the link and the URL that you have for your file that you've hosted online. Keep in mind that the command line terminal for Chrome OS is Linux based, so this is case sensitive. You will want to type the URL exactly as it is. Once it's done, you'll return to your desktop by hitting Control, Alt, Left Arrow. And at this point, you can go ahead and open up your Chrome browser and you'll go to your advanced settings. And underneath your web content, you'll click on the Customize Fonts button. From here, you can pick and choose where you want your new font that you've installed to be displayed, uh, whether it's just going to be your serif fonts, your sans serif fonts, your default. Um, once you have that configured, if you close, open up your browser one more time, you should start seeing that populate. If you're not seeing it immediately, one more reboot will have that pushed out and installed. You make it sound so easy, Ashton. Well, I try. <laughs> hey everybody, thanks for watching. As you well know, our number one concern is water. And our number one concern right behind that is you, the audience. So we wanna know what kind of comments and questions you have. If there's anything you want us to dive in on, go ahead and leave us a comment on this video or just submit an email directly to marketing at promevo.com. To download today's resource on how to install a custom font in your Chromebook, go ahead and just click the link below. Now, if you're interested in getting a Chromebook like the ones we had on today's show, go ahead and visit shop.promevo.com. We carry all of our products talked about on the show there, and they'll always be available for you. Oh, and one more thing. Because I think you guys are so awesome, I'm going to go ahead and give away one Asus Chromebit this week to a lucky viewer. All I need you to do is subscribe to our videos and leave a comment on this video telling me how you'd use an Asus Chromebit. I'll be picking one of you at random, so good luck, everybody. Until next week, we'll see you then.